Check this out. An important medical breakthrough. Scientists have successfully eliminated HIV from animal cells. Dr. Mark Siegel joins us now, Fox News medical correspondent. This is absolutely huge. Huge. Obviously, the next question is, when will it be ready for humans? You know, it's getting there. I think this is sci-fi, but I think it's fantastic, Charles. Here's where they are. They're in mice, but they've taken the human virus and put it into mice. So, in other words, they're almost in humans. They're taking the human HIV virus, putting it into mice, bioilluminating it. This is what the sci-fi part is. They light it up, and then they target it with genetic material called CRISPR, which is genetic editors. In other words, RNA that goes zooming for the HIV virus and cuts it out genetically, so it's gone, cuts it right out of the cell. It's really spectacular because HIV hides in cells. It hides in our human Im immune cells. Right. It escapes detection. So this shows that, th that this technique is an um unbelievable. When it's cutting it out, though, does it harm the rest of the cell? Absolutely not. But the real question is, yeah, it doesn't harm the rest of the cell. There's almost no side effects. But the question was, could you get enough of it to make a difference? And the studies out of University of Pittsburgh and Temple University are showing they're getting 96% of the virus out. 96%. And that's enough. That's enough to squash HIV so that it won't spread. We use a term called viral load. How much virus is there in the body? If this works in humans the way it's working in mice, and again, it's, it's working in mice with human virus, it's going to work to cure HIV. What's the next step? Next step is trying it in humans. And, and of course, we're just about there because they're already using it on the human virus. Clinical trials will start in humans over the next year or so. Wow, I just, it's, I mean, I think it's absolutely fa fa fascinating, but it feels like periodically these sort of stories come, right? And then they kind of fade away and you say, didn't they have something before? I mean, what are the obstacles here from really ultimately taking what seems to be an amazing breakthrough and it becoming a, a real drug that we can take? So fantastic question, Charles. Here's the answer. Not with CRISPR. I, I've come on this show many times and said not ready for prime time. This is ready for prime time. The biggest obstacle with this technology is are you going to make designer babies out of this? Are you going to alter genetics too much? It's really an ethical problem more than it is a scientific one, and we've overcome that. We're ready to use it now for prime time. This is really going to work. Wow. Thank you very much. Dr. Mark Siegel, really appreciate it. Good to see you, Charles.